Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We got another VOD review on our hands today and this one is quite special because we are going to be taking a look at the man that somehow made Roy work in the current meta. That's right, we're going to be looking at Spargo's grand final performance versus Sonic's at Supernova and we're only going to be looking at those latter four games because the first one he ends up playing Aegis and let's get right into it. So I think the first question that we need to answer is why do you actually have Spargo going Roy in this set? It's not like he doesn't have characters to deal with Sonics. Both Aegis and Korn are suitable choices for that matchup, but in the past they haven't been super successful. And there's some things in this matchup that I think Roy does better than those other characters. And I think the biggest one is going to be the Roy recovery. I actually think Roy's recovery isn't amazing versus Sonic. If he hits you before you're up, you're still going to die. But because you're able to do that specific upbeat right there, it just gives you so much more versatility. So in this situation, by the way, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be comparing Spargo if he was doing it on Cloud. Because while I'm aware Aegis would survive or deal differently, maybe even better than in some of these situations, clearly the Aegis didn't work out. But in this situation, if you're a Cloud and Sonic goes out for this forward air, you cannot contest it. He literally is just going to swing with this forward air. Maybe you could swing aggressively with a forward air of your own, but obviously that's going to be a huge commitment. Really, you're only option is either just to avoid him or to try to up be high and then just kind of drift towards the ledge but in this case scenario especially where sonics ends up doing this forwarder that wouldn't have been an option but because you are playing roy you have this up that is going to be starting with the hitbox coming out in front of roy right here and the main way that sonics is going to be getting his edge guard is going to be with that lingering forward air but and up he doesn't just completely beat out forward air of course but it is a really good option you see sonics going off stage with that swing if you press up B, you are going to be winning that trade every single time if you space it correctly of course and another really nice thing for roy in this matchup is that you're able to press way more buttons than you would as a character like cloud you're going to see an interaction right here that actually ends up taking spargo the stock and if he's playing cloud in this interaction after this initial hit of the shield he's not going to be able to do anything sonics is just going to be able to reach at the situation but because he's playing roy he's able to go for this down tilt and immediately follow that up with a jab catching sonics off guard and then it's just going to be a really nice conversion from spargo there he recognizes that sonics is at a percent where he actually doesn't need to go for that forward smash he's able to go for the less committal forward tilt and if this forward tilt doesn't end up hitting i'm pretty confident that spargo would have time to just like turn around jab maybe even time to do a forward tilt in the other direction so really nice coverage there from spargo doesn't get lost in the sauce and go for the greedy forward smash and we're already seeing the advantages of roy in the first minute of this set Really quickly, I just want to show another situation where Roy would live in a situation where Cloud does it. Now, Spargo still dies here, but that's not Roy's fault. He just kind of misplays the situation. If Spargo does the upbeat here and holds back, he actually doesn't get hit by the spring, and he would be able to drift into the ledge, so you're effectively able to go around the spring, which is super nice, and then in the situation, he just doesn't hold back here. He's trying to, or rather, he does hold back. He's trying to avoid this back air from Sonic, which I don't think was the incorrect decision because it likely would have traded and he would have died, and just barely doesn't have enough drift, but it's, again, just another example of how Roy gives you more variety in your recoveries. The next thing I'm going to show you is just this really nice advantage state from Spargo. He's actually an Eclipse Sonic jump right here with that weak up air. And in most situations, like if he was playing Cloud, for example, that wouldn't really matter because Sonic would just like up B and immediately disengage from the situation, or he would just be further away where he would be able to go off stage fairly safely. And it wouldn't be too much of a problem, but because it is that sour spot hitbox for Roy, he really doesn't get sent anywhere. And he's kind of just forced to do this panic air dodge. Like he's in such a bad spot. You actually see he does land on the ground here, but immediately he gets hit by Spargo and literally the second that he got his jump back has it stolen away once again Spargo takes it Spargo recognizes that so he doesn't even let Sonic go for that initial upbeat trying to get Lotus to snap to the ledge he says ah 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 you're getting sent further off stage and then you just have Spargo rinsing and repeating here which is so good from him now unfortunately he is going to get a little bit greedy and funnily enough it's actually going to lead to him losing his stock but i feel like this is something that's really important that players just do not understand in this game if you could just keep hitting your opponent over and over and over again like this with no risk to you just keep doing it because there's no reason to go for that big swing like spargo could have killed him here with a downer he could have gone absolutely crazy but he doesn't need to he could just repeat the situation over and over and over again the percentage is going to add up on sonics and it's going to get to a point where he's just not able to make it back to the stage now in the situation you do have spargo getting extremely greedy here he literally just does the exact same thing that he just did two stocks ago not two stocks ago two hits ago then sonics absolutely would have died in this situation but tries to go for that sweet spot on the back air ends up losing his life for and then we'll just skip to the end of the game here. It's coming pretty soon because you just have Spargo hitting this beautiful F tilt. I don't think it's necessarily a reaction. I think the second that he sees Sonics go under the ledge right here, he's just like, 
Okay, this guy is going to be either grabbing the ledge or he's going to be coming up aggressively a thousand percent. So I'm just going to run in, go for that pivot F-tilt. Yeah, you can see the F-tilt is like already starting before Sonic, or I guess it's as Sonic is coming up with the ledge here. But if Sonic doesn't come up aggressively, he just grabs the ledge. This F-tilt isn't going to be punished. If he does come aggressively, well, that's what happens. Really quickly, I just kind of want to complain about, well, you have Spargo stuffing out the approach option here with the forward air, doing it again with an air, just trying to get Sonic as he's coming up from the ledge. And then he just reacts, just reacts to that neutral getup. He is able to do two aerials in the span of a second and then react to a neutral getup with a jab that kills you at like 70. That is uh, pretty broken. I don't even have analysis for this. This is just like really fancy footwork from Spargo. Look how he is sh moving around right there. And also, I just wanted to point out the fact that Roy is like, such a good character for Spargo, specifically because of, like, this thing right here. I don't even care if every other thing he does with this character is terrible. The fact that you have one of the best reacting players in the world, this guy is reacting with Cloud F-Tilt to your neutral getup, and he has Roy Jab now? Like, I don't even think about how scary of a possibility that is. And just to complain about Roy a little bit more, he goes for the swing here with that back air, immediately jabs Sonic's neutral getups. I think Spargo was literally just mashing jab at that point. He doesn't even need the back air. He kills him with the forward air. Another thing that Roy is really good at versus Sonic is actually going to be that off-stage gameplay, especially opposed to Cloud, who's really scared to go off-stage, unless you have Limit, but you don't really want to try to edge guard your opponent in risk of burning Limit because you could just, you know, ledge trap and reactionary cross-slash them, especially if you're someone of Spargo's caliber. But with a character like Roy, and first things first, a beautiful drift away from Sonic's here against this forward air, just barely avoids it but when you are playing a character like Roy because of the way that his up B works you can go for the super low forward air right here but actually still make it back to the ledge before Sonic does or Sonic's rather so in this situation if you're Cloud you would just have Cloud kind of grabbing the ledge here like an idiot and he wouldn't be able to get a nice ledge trap on Sonic's but because it's Roy he's able to bypass that ledge and he is still going to be able to go for the ledge trap you have him trading with the jab right here and this is something you see Sparta doing repeatedly throughout the set and the reason Reason that jab is so good versus sonic specifically number one the move is just broken but number two sonic is going from like here to here he is kind of just like instantly entering your burst range it's really hard to react to but you don't need to react to it if you have a disjoint that you can spam over and over again that also happens to be a kill confirm now he's not going to get the kill here because it does end up trading this is honestly a beautiful shield from spargo like i get hit 10 out of 10 times here absolutely and he's going to try to go for a huge punish here with the up smash just barely is too slow on it and that clearly made him pretty angry because he goes for another right here and I'm going to cut myself off because I started rambling, but basically Sonic's at some point loses his jump in this up smash. I don't know how, because you can see very clearly touching the ground. Now he's in the hitbox. That's fine and dandy. He's up in the air and he is immediately drifting to the right, trying to get away from Spargo. Spargo is chasing him. This is the normal reaction, but you have Sonic's doing two back airs. I assume he's doing these back airs to try to like propel him off stage because again, he doesn't have a jump. I don't know how Spargo recognized this just barely clips him with his back air right here, which is just amazing from Spargo. And he actually is going to manage to edge guard technically Sonic. But again, I, I do not understand where the jump goes. I cannot find it. Please, please, please. If you realize what happens, maybe I'm just being an idiot. Maybe he just like jumps immediately right here and backers. I don't know why he would. But if you know what happened to the jump, uh, let me know. And I think the big boon of Spargo as a player is definitely going to be his speed, and Roy compliments that extremely well, as does Cloud, of course. But you're going to see from this clip right here, you have Spargo literally standing in the middle of the stage, perfectly in the middle of the stage, right on the center of that Pokeball. You have Sonic's going for, I believe, this is side B. I'm not a Sonic player, don't quote me. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And Sonic's has never in his life been punished for what he's about to do. He's just going to down air immediately out of this, and he does this all the time. All Sonic players do this all the time. That's kind of why the character is good because you don't have to commit to your side B or your down B. You could just stay exactly where you are and threaten that you're going to just go across the stage like a maniac. But this is where Spargo says, not today. And he just runs across the stage and slams him with that F tilt. What a hard call. And Sonic is caught completely with his pants down. Like as Spargo is running up, getting ready to do the F tilt, he's in the middle of the downer, just does not expect this at all. Spargo on the aggression and it gets him on tournament stock. And the set ends with Spargo doing three jabs at the ledge, running away, 
And then coming back for the final jab. What happened to the precise cloud player I know waiting for his moment to F tilt? He is long gone. But hey, at least we're winning majors. Now, all jokes aside, though, huge props to Spargo for pulling out the Roy in a moment like this and managing to secure the dub. He looked incredible with this character. I really hope this is something where we don't just see it versus Sonics. We start seeing it in the majority of his bracket runs because it fits him so well. Just that super aggressive playstyle with the quick reactions. It perfectly suits him. And with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sport. It's been absolutely unreal. As I know this one was a little bit quicker, but hey, we only had four games to go over. If there's anything I left out, got wrong, or if you just want to say hi, leave a comment down below. Be sure to sub while you're down there, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.